change it up though and go back uh, to there Corel. It is. Aww, less I mean, fun. It, it is less fun, but it is very execute. Yes. You know, he is uh he certainly made a name for himself on this champion. Some notoriety perhaps is the way to describe it. Um having very some... Ooh, looking for that little bit of a back. Get that health bar back sorted out so that he can come back in and get aggressive. Speaking of aggressive, audaciously charging in once again is Raptor interrupted as Canyon misses the flash, but he's still able to get first blood. They go two for one now, but Raptor, can he get it done? The flash forward, the wind becomes lightning, doesn't connect onto the hands. He's trying to kite it out as Trophy will get in here. Raptor's able to lock it down, but double buffs for the Corky will be the prize in the end. Three for- This is massive. They are able to get this top side Take away those grubs, but look at Chovy. He doesn't oh care about rocks. God, okay. Uh, that's a little bit silly. It's now extended being flying in. Pace throws down the ulti as well as Hannah in trouble. Doesn't have his ult up just yet, but Pace still not going to be diving. Building that lethality. It's not like he's chunking with a Dirk. He has a phage right now. As, oh no. Oh dear. Execute in so much trouble. Just knocked up forever. Can't even crash down out of it. And now Pace is looking for. Very eight. ready to rotate over. But look at that, it's one extender beam, and Henner is so incredibly low. The equalizer comes down, and there's the Glacial Prison on top, but the Magnus Storm is fantastic, but it's equalized by an extraordinary wild growth, and now Keen is looking to light clear on fire. He's slowed down by the Harpoons. Good flash gets him out of the way, but Chovy's grabbing kills on the Xin Zhao, and I don't think Keen wants to like snowball rolling downhill. Yeah. Um, there's the Weaver's Wall. I was going to mention, you might notice the Weaver's Wall was not used in that last fight, and I think the call here was executes, is, is what you have to imagine, is Closer was in position to wall them out, and I think that they walk away with absolutely nothing. Gen G, 4,000 gold. To make this type of play, you have vision control. Henna has to come a lot faster than this, because it's not a winning numbers game for Firex. Unless he's there, he's so late. Here comes the Weaver's Wall. Yeah, they're looking for more. Four versus three. Underneath this turret is now, they do manage to get their prize, which was Canyon, but can they get out on skate? is the question. Raptor will end up going down is now the redemption. A little bit late to save his teammates and not able to save Lehens either. Although Pays. he does get Henna. Now Pay is able to rocket his way over. Is this going to be two kills for the Zeri? That might be the certification that you are looking for as Closer does have double buffs. He does have a seismic shove as well, but I don't know how he's going to be able to get himself out of this one. David Blaine Closer. We get that skin for Talia, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it could be an opportunity. Is no, uh, the turret. Um, the only thing that he didn't take out over there. The rest of them were sort of uh, barreling in, but he was just one shot away from dead. So that's there for the fight, but he still gets the reward. Yeah, and that's the disaster, unfortunately, for PRX. As meanwhile, top side is broken open. Yeah, Canyon able to uh, charge Shelly into this inner turret. Uh, bottom side of the map, we did see that uh, Clear was at least able to get something. Deathless, but. Smart build here for Gen G. I think the only way... Oh, Raptor's in trouble. He is in a little bit of trouble. Going to be uh, flashing away immediately. They got the speed ups here. And uh, Pei's able to dash over that wall. Extendo Beam going to slow him down. Does have the Crescent Guard. As now we've got another hey. fighting pale onto Chovy. Let's see whether he can actually get a kill back. He almost does. Um, Raptor's going to die in the meantime. Anyone overextends. They don't do so. And it's going Quadrant to be the of the map back that they can. Oh, As Raptor's caught yeah. again. Yeah, Raptor just going to get chain CC'd. Unfortunately, he pops the blast cone, but Canyon just barrasses find the steals here. But Henna, uh, he can't even walk up. There's an equalizer that he has to try and get over. As now Skarna diving in, but the polymorph was too good from Lahans. He flashes, he finds an impale onto Chovy once again. He's going to get deleted. The Magnus Storm actually amazing from Execute, but they don't have a lot of damage remaining. Still, Henna dives forward. They do get the shield onto Pace, but not until that damage does come through. And Genji have to back away. Yeah, this turret still being up is huge. Oh, seismic shove, fantastic here as Closer still going forward. Trying to find some opportunities as Pays gets an extendo beam onto him. Absolutely, and I, I look, I don't think you should feel bad about anything if you're being well, KQ. the Baron is Firex with a late decision to come up yeah. like a test. I mean, this is going down so fast, they might be able to just walk over to the Dragon as well. It's down to 2,000 health. Yeah, Raptor nowhere near it. So the Baron, not long for the world at all. That is going to be the engage on to Execute. He's able to crash down out of it, but the Chains of Corruption do not find the mark. And now Clear just trying to stand in front of his team to keep them alive. My god, these Harpoons are doing so much work. Is now Canyon. Yeah, he's relatively low. It is going to be a decent Impale to come through yet again. And they do manage to get rid of the Corky, but look at this. It's a Quadra kill already. Clear has got a huge health bar, but I think it's another Penta in game number one of the summer season for Pays. He picks up a Penta and they'll just march towards the Nexus. Oh, Pays, another Penta, 11 kills for the man that set the record for most kills in an international at MSI.
You get this guy Azari, and he is gonna run away with the game. And the redemption dropped in the fight. Everything put on the Chovy. And yes, he ultimately dies, but it's a Chovy for Nexus trade, and Genji take the first win. A bit yes, of a puzzle. explosive charge does a circle of damage. That's Karthus. I was wondering which uh, AP he jungler Karthus, he was right? gonna go towards, but I wanted him to play Zyra. Um, that's how you counter circles with another circle. You remember uh, that? And Phase is already starting to get oh online. Dear. Clear. Yeah, Wall of Paint coming on in there, and oh no, the gold card actually eating up the entirety of the Lightning Rush. He's exhausted now. Keen pulls out a card, doesn't even need it. That's not a whole lot of mana, but he will still be able to uh, take down this Dragon, and then has a Ocean to help him get a little bit of that back. It's Lehens, very, very nice. Also, he comes over, helps out. He's going to get the whole wave as well without having to teleport back, so... Really nothing lost here. No damage done to the turret. His closer is playing with fire here. He gets that armor shred. Yeah. Trovi doesn't have a Phosphorus Bomb left as far as uh, mana capabilities are concerned. But you can oh, see on the Karthus. Well, there is the destiny. Immediately, Keen is going to come down, finds the gold card. On to clear once again. Snare going to come on through. And there is the ult. Not punished too much when it comes to farm, things like that. It's just a wave on Breathe. his side as well. As now, Pays in trouble. Slicing Maelstrom going to come in. And that should be the first kill going over to Fear X. To get a uh, demolished Brock, you love to see it. Um, I was going to mention that maybe we'll see a contest of these grubs, but with the push there on the closer, there's not much they could do. There's a question mark ping late. Meanwhile, clear, not in the clear. Oh no, they are really just against the Pikachu this time around. Uh, oh. yeah. Yeah. And he wins the race. Hey, there we go. So first tower block going over to PRX. That's here now as well. He could start to be relevant on objective setup. They're able to get a dragon here. It's going to be Infernal Soul. Uh, yeah, execute moving up. Kane could be the one in trouble here as he did have the information, but there is the dive in. I don't think this twist of fate is going anywhere at all. And even that should be yet another one going down. That is going to get them pretty close to parity, to be perfectly honest. After this does fall. Total here for the Ziggs as he picks up those additional ones top side there. And very much a lot of money. Yeah. But it, it's all about how you use it, right? Keeping yeah. Execute at bay here. He's four four levels, up. levels up. That's so silly. And of course, Paze is the support in this lane, uh, but he is a level ahead of Execute right now. And uh, Henna at least is up at the same point as now Closer having to get away. The Phosphorus Bomb is going to connect, though. There's the Buster Shot. Oh, the Requiem. And that is going to be enough. Canyon takes down the Tristana. There was too many they things. Avoid Fear X and. Oh, okay. There's the flash forward. Canyon may be caught out of position here. Wind becomes lightning, comes in. Trovi will turn up. Mega Inferno Bomb coming down as well as now Canyon trying to get in position so he can die at the right spot. Trovi's going to go down as well, though. That is two, but the Requiem coming in. Pays should be taken down as the explosive charge, not actually to come through. Finally, he does fall. And that's the double for Closer. So low, but with the six here, I think they definitely have the damage to sustain through Raptor. We'll oh tank it God. up here. Uh, right? Don't stand on that, Henna! <laughs> well, Henna is just going to get out of there. Clear is taking more damage than he'd otherwise like. It's and okay, Raptor, they did Raptor's it. like, guys, like, I've got this. It's fine. Just leave me alone. And uh, he is going to be able to get that walk away. Some it's just not It's not going to be enough. Yep. And this is this Whoa. is rough. There's a max range hook that's going to connect here is Gen G. They are angry about losing that last fight, but they're going to lose that Twisted Fate immediately. Lahen's taking a lot of damage. He'll flash away. And now Closer turns up. You can see that DPS really starting to get up there. But oh dear, this should just be two kills. One kill. Never mind, Execute tanky enough to survive the Requiem there. Doesn't but, work uh, on the Malignants at least. Did you see all of the gameplay that Phyrex was doing? <laughs> and then Genji, like, Canyon's just like, yeah, how about this gameplay presses the R button? Yeah, he, he definitely let his team carry the... the yeah. And the Baron's still there for Phyrex. Um, we got out of the replay and then immediately... Closer, I think, that it looked like it was going to be as Execute finding Lehens. Yeah, Magnus Storm to come on through here as Closer. Rocket jumps forward just to close the distance, and Lehens just dead. No follow-up available. The Baron, it's gone, Atlas. Yeah, and Destiny's pop. They know exactly what's going on, but there was no way for them to contest. Requiem just for the poke? <laughs> yeah, yes, I mean, is that poke? You almost killed Closer, okay. I mean, the timing of this is really thin for Genji Keen. Oh, it's have stopping Destiny. the back, so it just makes sure he can break open the base. Yeah. They get Infernal Soul, and they explode. God, Infernal Soul, ladies and gentlemen, and a Corky with three items. Just push together, fight on your terms. Get in here and manage to find something. It is going to be important. Good buffer to get closer out of there. And Raptor taking so much damage. Oh my god! Even the piercing darkness is so scary as Raptor! He will he survive? He will! Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He had hysterics. So I don't know, Atlas. You need to just look at the items before you get excited. He does not have War Mogs, though, so I don't know if he's going to live much longer. Okay, there is a Destiny coming in, as Henna's going to have to flash away, but there is the Depth Charge. 
And Keen's on the flank angle. There is absolutely nowhere to run. Raptor tries to flash for him, but the gold card was in the air. And they start off the fight with a kill. The Magnet Storm, it doesn't do anything. The slicing Maelstrom doesn't either. But he is still able to take down Pace. Clear just exploding. What was that damage? It was absolutely insane. And now Keen looking for a little bit more. Already the bottom lane has been wiped out. But Trovi comes in for the cleanup. It feels like Genji have had full uh -oh. control. And speaking of which, here is a destiny in. Slicing Maelstrom is going to stun up Keen for the moment. He does have his Zonyas at the ready as well, but I don't think he's going anywhere. Yeah, four members of Genji probably going to be enough to take down the cannon once again. Two, six, and three. Unfortunately, Clear has really been the target. He really has. Some backs going to get stopped, at least one. Yeah, they tried to stop them from being able to defend. And honestly, they couldn't defend anyway, because the turret just kind of fell over when it saw Genji. We are quite late. graphic, uh, yeah. boy, because I mean, there's just no stopping this. Down so incredibly fast. There is teleport as well. Yeah, good satchel to try and get the hands out of there, but he still manages to land. Oh, it's a steal from Canyon! Really? You do that to them right now? That is so unfair. Now the executes come in from this big old dragon. That is the very cool borders around the pictures for Genji as well. And oh man, it was so close. I mean, the thing too is the teleport from Clear, if it's faster, maybe he gets a huge slicing Maelstrom, but it's too late. He's not there in time. Keen just destinies on top of him and kills him as well. There's no hope for B and K and Gen G. That's so we're going home early tonight. Yeah, they certainly are the 2-0 for the MSI champions. But in this game, B and K, BRX, they made them work for it. I actually think that they played very, very well to their win conditions in this composition just didn't quite work. And with the fact that they fell behind early, maybe we could have seen something different if the early game had gone better, but I think it was still a valiant.